Lucky Boys Podcast. At that point, you're you're not able to actually like have that um, knowledge to like look into it because like, everyone because everything. everyone has told you since I was growing up. They always said respect your elders. Mm. Respect your elders, respect authority, right. teachers, everyone. Listen to ex- everyone, but as long as they're older, then respect your older brother, your older sister. Don't question anything. Don't question. Their yeah. children should be seen and not heard. Mm. So whatever these, as long as they're older than you, that means they're smarter than you. Mm. That's what we were all taught growing right. up, right, in the old, o- older days. I mean, how do you how do you educate your I mean, kids? Like, I see, that's the thing with... with um, I tell them to question everything. Right. But even then, me. But then like even how, me. how do you how do you do that but also respect people, right? But see, here's the thing. Like it's not disrespectful to disagree with someone. Mm-hmm. It's okay to have a debate. Like you and I, for example, me and my, my brother and I, we had this mega debate uh last yesterday for like an hour we're just going at it. Mm-hmm. Right? My brother and like my brother thinks we're alike. I don't. I think we're total opposites that was what the debate was no 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 <laughs> he thinks he thinks the debate is that he thinks it's going to be a sharp v recovery got for the, it for the economy for the economy okay right he thinks it's okay. just gonna he think we hit the bottom and he thinks we're just gonna catapult right up mm-hmm. and i could not disagree more with him mm. and however keep bear in mind these are both opinions yep only time is going to teach us the lessons and and time will tell us who was right and there's also a lot right. of factors that, that go so into many the factors. recovery. Right. So. so and I'm and I'm aware of that, but I'm I'm a, a little more bearish. Well, a lot more bearish than he is. He mm-hmm. he just thinks that it's all clear sailings, throw everything in the stock market right now, get your investments in while everything's on sale. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling him it's it's gonna go on sale even more. Yeah. I there's, just the bottom's not there. I don't believe so. I agree. Um, I don't think the bottom's there, man. Look at look at Warren Buffett. He just sold like a, thirty bun- million, a bunch of his uh, thirty million. portfolio. Yeah. I mean, it's a drop in a bucket. For yeah, drop in bu- bucket. But, but at the same time, if he's not buying and he's selling thirty million, million, that's gotta. And then you look at all the jobs that's being lost, and it's still continued to trend that way. Sixteen million. Sixteen uh, million uh, unemployment. Uh, Disney uh, just uh, furloughed out. or laid off uh, forty three thousand people yesterday. Yeah, sent the notice. Well, at least made it public. And, you know, Macy's had 130,000 employees that they furloughed mm-hmm. the other week. So, I mean, and this is going to impact. It's going to be a trickle effect. Well, like furlough, you, furlough means it, they didn't lose their jobs, these employees, but they are not getting paid. They ain't getting paid. Yeah. So they essentially, they're basically saying we're putting your, your career on hold. On hold, yeah. And we don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But uh, if the economy comes back, then we can bring you back. Well, come yeah. on. I, I don't think it's going to be a V-shape. And what? These people are just going to sit on the sidelines yeah. and wait? No. Yeah. They're, they're gonna they have leave. kids to, they to, have to support. Yeah. yeah they have their they families. They, they, need, you know, they need to feed their lifestyle. So, you know, I, I don't see a quick recovery because of that. Mm-hmm. that I mean, I know the, the, we had a record-breaking uh, stock market rise in the past week. But we also have record amount of losses, of uh, loss of jobs, offsetting that. It just doesn't make sense. It's not the stock market is not reflecting what's the reality. Exactly. Right so what makes sense to me is that the bailout. You know, people like the good news of the bailout. It could be stock buybacks, mm-hmm. right? It could be stock buybacks where people are uh, purchasing stocks and and making the value go. I mean, it has to be some form of that, right? Where mm-hmm. where. There's some sort of consumer confidence in that end for recovery, and I get it. And then, and they say the flattening of the curve in in, in California and New York is also help building the that's, optimism behind. That's the, the news. The economy going back to work. Yeah. And Spain also said they're taking steps forward on bringing non-essential workers back into the fold. So, mm-hmm. and I agree, man. I mean, here I I get it. You got to bring people back to make money at some point. Mm-hmm. All right, because if you don't, it's going to be chaos. It's going to be, and, and at the same time, you don't want to bring them back too early yeah. because you don't want a second wave. You don't want a second wave. Now, people don't understand. And like, it's all, historically, you know, setting a, it's like KD. Yeah. You know, you brought KD back too early. Like, you know, like, it fucked up oh, his yeah, Achilles. Up his, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, you don't, you don't want to, you don't want to come back from an injury too fast. You know, you may want to take some time off after surgery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you need time to. Like Kawhi. He took his time. Yeah, Kawhi he took his back. time, and then Gave, he got him he, championship. Won the championship. There you go. So, I, so how do you find that balance? You know what I mean. 
I have to say because we need to bring Kawhi Leonard in. Well, yeah, no, no, that's strategy. <laughs> Yo, that's strategy. That Kawhi mindset. for president. Yeah, <laughs> but then then people don't understand like like historically these these pandemics they come in waves. <laughs> I mean, you see, right. you see, they come in waves, and, and then and, and only it, New York and Cali is real in Florida, right? And New Orleans yeah. has been really hit. Yeah, devastated by it. Yeah. You didn't hit all these other in Texas. I think it's starting to creep up, but mm. you didn't hit all the other states. Yeah, they're not considering other areas of the United States. I mean, yeah, it looks really bad right now in the in epicenter in terms of the the more denser cities. But then I'm sure it's it's going to creep up elsewhere, and then people have to be prepared. Right? Sure. So for sure, and I think they will. I think you know they they're not. I'm giving them a lot of credit. Uh, I mean, you're, you're seeing that. If you see your next door neighbor having, it's one thing hearing someone in the next town having some sort of issue. Yeah. But now you're hearing, you're seeing your next door neighbor go through an issue. You're going to go, oh shit, man, I'm not going to fuck around with this. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> you know, one of my close friends. The other states are paying attention. Yeah.